benzoyl peroxide causes cancer, so throw it out right now. At least that's what this company Valisure wants you to believe. They recently released a report that showed that when benzoyl peroxide containing products are subjected to certain temperatures for a certain period of time, they produce high levels of benzene, which is a known carcinogen. Why do we believe everything people tell us without validating? And over the last 24 hours, I've seen everyone from regular people to medical professionals panicking and fear-mongering over this report without even examining the data properly. And first of all, I wouldn't even call this a study because it hasn't even been peer-reviewed yet. It's just a report. If you look at the report, you'll see that they subjected products that contain benzoyl peroxide to temperatures of 40 degrees, 50 degrees, and 70 degrees Celsius for 18 days straight. And when products reached 70 degrees Celsius for that period of time, they emitted high amounts of benzene. Do you know how hot 70 degrees Celsius is? It's 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Who the hell is keeping their benzoyl peroxide at a temperature of 158 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 days straight? Not me. Also, we've been using benzoyl peroxide for decades. Have you heard of an increased rise in cancer rates from it? This is along the same lines of what was done with hydroquinone years ago when people were crazy about it causing cancer. But guess what? There's no proven scientific evidence that that causes cancer either. Could there be a potential issue in the way benzoyl peroxide is shipped? Maybe. I don't know. But that's the one benefit of this study is now it's caught the FDA's attention and hopefully they will try and replicate reproduce these results with further peer-reviewed studies. In the meantime, if you're that paranoid, just store your benzoyl peroxide in a cool space. So what do you think of this report? Are you going to toss out all your benzoyl peroxide or are you going to keep using it? Let me know.